Happy World Gin Day, people. It's Cocktail Kate here to show how to make a super simple, super tasty, and super refreshing classic gin cocktail, the gin sour. Now for the gin sour, all you really need is some citrus, something sweet, and of course, a lovely little bottle of gin. Today, I'm gonna to be using Navy Strength Gin, cause that fly like that, okay? And I'm also gonna be using lime juice as my sour. Um, to add a little bit of depth to my sours, I like to throw in some herbs. Uh, with lime, I really enjoy the pairing of mint. If you prefer to use lemon and you want to pair it with something like thyme, go for it. Um, grapefruit works really well with a herb like rosemary. But if you want to just use the citrus without the herb, that's perfect as well. All right. All I'm going to do in this video is teach you the measurements and show you how to use your cocktail equipment. Okay. Happy World Gym Day. Let's get going. So for your citrus, you want to get your cocktail shaker open and you want to throw in one shot. Like do a le do do a leaper said one shot is all it takes. Okay, so twenty five mils of citrus, mine is lime, bam, and then to balance that citrus out, you're gonna throw in half a shot of sugar syrup or honey or agave. So fifteen mils. Now for sugar syrup, I made this last night. I just used two to one sugar to water. Put it in the blender. I was very careful with the way I blended it. Um, and then whacked it in the fridge overnight and bada bing, bada boom. If you want to use honey or agave, like I said, that's absolutely perfect as well. So you've got sweet and sour in. Now the beauty of making your own cocktails is you get to taste it all the way through too. So I'm just going to check that that is balanced. And what I mean by that is um, a lovely line between sweet and sour. Perfect. Got enough sour in it, got enough sweet. Happy. Now, I'm going to throw in 40 mils of gin and the reason I'm throwing 40 in is because with my sours I really 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 like to put in dry vermouth or dry sherry okay ingredients that I find lots of people have in the kitchen from making risotto or something uh, but they never really know how to use them in cocktails now for me the feeling that you get from a dry vermouth or a dry sherry in a sour what it does is it just kind of acts as that lovely paddle board for the flavour to travel across the palate on. Okay, it just takes that flavour a little bit further. So just the splash. So that's 10 mils of dry vermouth. And then, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to throw in some fresh mint. So I'm going to take in six to eight mint leaves. And I'm just going to take them off the stem. And then in order to release the oils, I'm going to give them a good old smack. Whack them in my cocktail shaker. Whoa! Fresh, unbelievable, right? So in there, I've got 25 mils of citrus, 15 mils of sweet, 10 mils of dry vermouth, and 40 mils of gin, along with around eight mint leaves, okay? Before you shake it, very, very important to fill your cocktail shake with ice. So all the way to the top. Um, if you fill your cocktail shaker halfway with ice, you'll end up with way more water than you want, and your drink will just taste a bit bit dead really okay so i filled with ice got my shake face on let's go okay with a sour it's really quick really simple really fast really hard shake set it free oosh when you put your ear to it it should be singing i'm being asked to be released which i'm gonna do right now okay beautiful so with a sour Traditionally served up, which means no ice in a cocktail glass, um, which is what I'm going to do. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a tea strainer to keep out those little bits of mint and a cocktail strainer. I'm going to pour it in. Handy little tip, if you want to treat yourself, if you serve this up over ice, you can top it with a little bit of Prosecco. You're welcome. Okay. I'm not going to do that because it's hard enough talking with this accent as it is. Um, but if you want to top it with some Prosecco or if you want to douse it down a touch, you can top it with some soda water. But for me, straight up funk. Okay. Um, now for the garnish, I'm going to throw in a big old fresh mint leaf. And I'm not just going to place it on. Oh, no, no. I'm going to give it a slap. I'm going to release all those oils. Pop it down there so that when I go into it, Oh, smells phenomenal. Oh yes, oh yes. Gin sour is one of my all-time favorite cocktails. Gang, 
have fun trying out your own recipes. Let me know how you get on. That is absolutely delicious. And above all else, happy World Gin Day.